Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. This is Big G? He's just a child? Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. Let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. After all that's happened, Paimon's not even sure what's going on anymore. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. A few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they'd come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. It must have been poor Lo Chung that he followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Uh, I was discovered? Well, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Yeah, Hu Tao and Meng were searching for you all over the place. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. So, all of this was just because you got lost? Why didn't you just fly? Like any other gooster spirit! Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? I... can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. That's right, yes! He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living, and with so many people walking around Leo Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> Now, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill, and we should be done and dust to dusted. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mu Mu, and Songzi. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Meng and I will escort Big G back to Wuang Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual, then come and find us. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them? Um, that's not a good idea. I don't want to scare them. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low-key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor's services anytime soon. 
Yes. We grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. But he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. <laughs> I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jueyun chili chicken. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jueyun chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal! Just give us a minute. Juyun chilies are a common sight in Liu. I can rustle that dish up in no time if you help me find some. Great, this should be enough. I'll get started on the Juyun chili chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down? When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. You again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. I come to think of it, I remember he did join Wangsheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is... a painful process. I would know. So... is Big G the reason you're here to see me? How did you know? We didn't even say anything! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a businessman. I won't go spilling your secrets. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But... I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow, you must be, like, super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for Little Wu and Songzi next. Mm-hmm. We already saw Little Wu. Now we gotta find Songzi. I see. If it's Songzi you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done.
here? Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Straight shards for Sansa. I think she mentioned it. Yes, here you are in the register. No problem. The plostrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look someplace else. Hey, who's that skulking around? Like what Sungzu was talking about? Let's head back! My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well. And that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. Lucky to have friends like you. We got everything we need. Let's go to Wu Wang Hill and find Hu Tao and the others. 